Good morning, everyone. It's Karen here with Bin Gardening. I'm standing on my deck on this beautiful day in Georgia, and I am checking on uh, some of my seedlings that I've planted um, just three days ago. This is May 17th. I planted these on May 14th, and I used the paper towel method, two moist paper towels um, just surround the seed, and they go in a plastic container. Uh, like these. This, these are two McDonald's salad containers and then there's some other containers you'd find like in a bakery or for trail mix, that kind of thing. Anyway, they're free and I wanted to check and see how some of these things are doing after three days. Kind of anxious. Um, the Texas Blue Bonnet says it takes 25 days to germinate. Let's see what we have here. We have some germination, so it will not take as long. Won't have to wait as long. That's great. Texas Blue Bonnet is a really pretty plant. Nice blue flowers. Uh, the next thing I wanted to check on is a another vertical stalk flower, lupine perennials. They take three to four weeks to germinate, so the seed packet says, and we are fortunate. Conditions must be right. Um, we have some germination there. And this, the nice thing about this is it is a perennial, so it will come back once you've established it year after year. Lupine looks like this. This is a mixed color. Um, should be very beautiful. Under that we have some uh, tomatoes, some heirloom tomatoes. I can see that they have not germinated. And then there's another flower, tiny little seeds, called Canterbury Bells, also has not shown signs of germination. Uh, next is Bush Morning Glory. And let's see. Oh yes, we have quite a bit of germination. And this is a really nice plant because it's a, you get the beauty of the Morning Glory flower, but you don't have to trellis it. It's non-vining. It's a, it's a, a bush plant. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, under that we have several things that don't appear to have uh, germinated. Bells of Ireland, that takes a little while. We have a, a carrot mix. Let's see if I can find that seed packet to show you. That has not germinated yet, but it's only been three days. This is uh, the mix, all different colors. I'm really looking forward to that. And um, the next thing is a yard-long cuke. Yard-long cucumber. Um, supposed to taste different and kind of curve. Uh, a little differently than traditional cucumbers. And this has started to germinate. So, um, we'll let that sit in the moisture for a few more days so that more of the seeds will germinate and then plant it into some soil. Under that I've got some lime basil, but those are seeds from 2009. And um, I don't have high expectations for germination, but we'll see what happens. And then there's some Cosmos that I just uh, put in, and they're not germinating yet. Over here, this one looks like a nice successful germination. This is a asparagus bean, and it's supposed to take two to three weeks to germinate. It's been three days, and wow, lots, lots of germination. Good high rate of germination there. So um, I think I'll be planting that this weekend into some soil. And... Um, that should grow, uh, let's see, asparagus beans can get a yard long. So, um, I have grown these once before and it is just, it's like a long, delicious green bean and they grow quite quickly. Uh, just to look at the seed packet of that cucumber, Armenian yard long. Can't wait to see like a two or three foot cucumber. Anyway, that is what's growing here today at Bin Gardening. And thank you for watching. See you next time.